Hi all. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, I saw a number of people returning their Lenovo Legion Go. One of the big factors was that they didn't feel comfortable using Windows 11. And a lot of those people seem to be coming from a Steam Deck background. Um, it's a very much more console-like experience where everything's sort of like in one place, very easy to navigate, very easy to do things, but very constraining. Um, on the Steam Deck, you can break out of that and go into desktop mode, but it's it's sort of the reverse of Windows, where Windows is you, you start in desktop mode and then can go into Steam and, and trigger the software. So it's a bit of a, bit of a reversal. Now, I want to do a series of videos that will help um, Steam Deck users convert over into Windows um, so that they can use any Windows gaming device, be it these handhelds or a laptop, a uh, desktop computer. And, you know, th there's just, it opens up a lot of things that would be more difficult for uh, to do, such as other um, gaming stores like EA Games, U Ubisoft, or is it Ubisoft? I don't know. Um, and Epic Games, so you can you can purchase games from further afield than just Steam. You can play games that aren't on Steam. Um, one big thing is you can you can't do in, uh, on the Steam Deck that you can do on a Windows gaming PC is you can get access to Xbox Game Pass and all the games available there. You can't uh, install them onto a Steam Deck. So the way the way I'll structure these videos, I'll show you device specific ways, probably on the ROG Ally and the Lenovo Legion Go. In this particular video, I'll just show you the Lenovo Legion Go, and then I'll show you a general way of doing the same thing, um, which would work on any Windows installation, and that that's just kind of useful um, information to have for any devices that don't have this sort of overlay stuff on. So, with that said, let me go into Legion Space. So, to go into Legion Space, it's the, the button at the top here on the left. And let me... Um, I'll take us to the home. Whoops, no I won't. That's not how you do it. Okay, so this is how little I use this aspect of Legion Space. Um, I'd like to... Yeah, here we are. So this is pretty much the screen you would see when you press this button. And what we're going to look at is this section here called Popular Gaming Platforms. Clicking on that takes us back to the screen you've already seen. And all, all these are, are links to where you can download um, and install the software for... Ubisoft Connect, although I've downloaded that outside of it. I have the Xbox app, so I don't need to download that. I've, I've got Epic Games, but uh, you can see the ones I've installed, they've got open. The ones that uh, haven't been installed, you can download. And that's what you would do. On your screen, it would say Steam Download, and you'd click that. And then you could begin the download process. But let's pretend that we don't have this... Um, this way of installing the Steam Deck, yeah, the Steam software, sorry. So what you would do um, is you would come down and you'd click on this symbol here for Bing, which is an internet browser if you, if you don't know. And I should say, I'm assuming zero knowledge. Um, please don't think I'm treating you like an idiot. I'm, I'm doing this for a user who's never been in Windows in their life coming from Steam Deck, um, and I just want to make sure that anyone can, can pick this up. So if we click on here, we get a pop-up keyboard, and we're just typing in Steam Download. And this, this will work on all PCs, really. And so the very first option we've got here is the one we're looking for. And if I click on that, it takes us to this screen. And you've got this big button to install Steam. So if we click on that, you'll see we've got a downloads pop up and it says to open the file. Now, if, if you clicked off of that, 
you didn't, you know, where, where's my downloads? If you go up to the top here and click the three little buttons and go to downloads, you can find that little pop-up again. And so let's click open file and it'll pop up a window saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? In this case, we prompted it. We wanted this to happen. Say yes. If you kind of get these windows up and you've done nothing um, on, on the PC to warrant it, don't click it. Just say no. It's always safer. It probably won't happen, but just in case. So here you'll get a, a prompt telling you that they're going to install this. Well, this is the Steam setup. And if you click next, you can start choosing the language of your choice. And I'm I'm not going to go any further through because I've already got Steam installed. But you would click next and answer any questions. At some point, it's probably going to ask you. It may not do it on the installation, but when you first start up Steam, it's probably going to ask you to log in. So you'll need your Steam ID, your Steam email address, and um, your password. Enter those in. It'll send you an email, probably, if you've set up authentication with... I think it's a six digit code, which you then plug in to the box that will appear on the screen. And so long as you get that right, it'll, it'll start up into steam and you're good to go. So if I now close these windows and when you're installing, if you get an option that says, you know, create a shortcut, if it's un if it's unchecked, check it. Um, and what will happen is it will create a little icon here, which will just make it so much easier for you to get into Steam. Um, so if I double click, oh, so, sorry, uh, or click, um, I was already in it. But if you if you click on it, it'll open Steam. Um, and now this is probably a whole load more familiar to you. Um, as you'll recognize a lot of the same functions that you have on your Steam Deck. So this is where you can browse the store. <laughs> if you can click it properly. I've not been drinking. Um, so there you can browse the store. Um, I try not to get distracted by discounts on games. Um, you can then access your library. And this is probably what you're going to want to do in the first few minutes is download the, your favorite games onto the device. So as with the Steam Deck, it's grayed out. If it's not installed, it's um, white if it is installed, and it's blue if there's something going on like downloading, downloading an update or an update is queued. Um, so for example, if I wanted to install this, I'd click it, and you can see this is the familiar Pick the drive if you've got multiple drives. It tells you how much you want you've uh, need to install it. it. Tells you if you've got enough room to do it. And then you can click install. All very familiar to you, I'm sure. Um, and that's that's it really. Um, it's perfectly okay just to do nothing else in Windows. Just get into the you know get into the Steam Store. Um, get comfortable installing games. Get comfortable triggering games. And I'll, I'll cover in future videos all sorts of things like how to set the resolutions, um, you know, make sure that you can get into the game and, and what happens if you drop out of a game um, due to a pop-up or something, how to get back into it, etc. So it'll just be um, a series of videos on that sort of thing. If there's any other videos you'd like to see, um, explaining bits of Windows or little things that you, you want to be able to do, um, just let, let me know in a comment below and I'll try and do a short video on them. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, one, one other thing I should say is when I'm doing the videos, you know, firstly, it's very hard for you to destroy your device doing anything in Windows. Okay. You're in a, a sort of safe environment. You know, yeah, you might delete, delete the odd thing. Um, generally, you're not going to stop Windows from working. Where there is a risk, um, any video I have will outline that risk to you so that you can choose if you want to go ahead. So I'm specifically thinking about registry updates. So if you get a reg file and, and run that, um, 
that can set up, you know, that can put values in that, that, that stop things working. So I'd be very cautious about that. But if I was ever advocating you do that, and in, you know, I, I will do for a couple of things, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll warn you of the issues that you might encounter. Um, and you can decide if you want to do that. Likewise, probably the riskiest thing you can do is a BIOS update. Um, but if you follow the, the, the standard rules for a BIOS update is you make sure you're plugged in and on power and you don't turn it off while it's updating, you'll be fine. So, do, you know, 90% of the time, you don't have to be scared. If there is any risk, I'll, I'll, I'll reveal that in the video. Um, and when you're ready to break out of uh, your Steam environment and install other, other other sort of gaming software and other software in general, you'll, you'll have the confidence and knowledge to do so. So I hope this video has been useful and thank you for listening.